U.S. Trade Representative Robert Lighthizer had as long as one year to launch this so-called unfair trade practices probe. In the end, it took him just four days. It was just this past Monday when U.S. President Donald Trump asked Lighthizer to consider launching a formal investigation. The White House is relying on a 1974 law which predates the World Trade Organization in settling trade disputes. The U.S. Trade Representative says the investigation will examine whether China's policies harm American intellectual property rights, innovation or technology development. Earlier this week, Beijing pushed back, saying the WTO is the place to resolve these disputes. Trade measures taken by any member of the World Trade Organization should abide by the rules of the WTO. We have said repeatedly before that as China and the United States are increasingly interconnected with their interests closely entwined with each other, a trade war will get them nowhere, nor will it have a winner, but only leads to a lose-lose situation. And if the U.S. investigation results in trade penalties against China, Beijing could retaliate with some penalties of its own, restrictions on things like rice, soybeans and beef. It's also the case that many believe Beijing will bring a formal complaint against the United States for this specific process at the World Trade Organization. The last time was 1998, and the United States won the case. Jessica Stone, CGTN, Washington.